Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use WebBoth Bundle for Cisco Wireless LAN controller, customized WebBoth Bundle. Um, so as you know, uh, we have a WebBoth authentication available on layer 3 uh, uh, in any SSID created on Cisco WLC. WLC. And um, Cisco provides another option to customize your login page that is getting displayed on the uh, login page or the portal that is getting displayed on um, the end user device. So now first what we have to do is we have to download a WebBoth bundle sample from Cisco CCO site and this is the link for that. And uh, you can uh, customize that as per your requirement and uh, you can you can add uh, pictures, you can change your information, you can put your user policy and that can be uploaded back to uh, your Cisco wireless LAN controller then that page will get displayed to the end user. So this is the uh, location for downloading the WebBoth bundle. I already downloaded it, so let me go to that folder. So this is the zip file I downloaded from CCO, uh, Cisco uh, software site. Then this is the folder that you are going to get it uh, once you uh, download that file and extracted it. Then in this one, they are providing a readme file and you can follow through that um, follow that instructions in readme file that will help you to identify which which folder you have to use and how to do that uh, customization and all. So um, let me go through that uh, readme file here. So it's talking about the basic stuff on the WebAuth and for each type of web authentication they have a separate folder. So as you can see here if you are going to use normal web authentication you have to use WAA slash folder that uh, that folder so this is the folder we are referring to and if you are going to use pass through then this is the folder uh, WAP this is the folder for a pass through if you are trying to use it uh, with the pass through with the email you have to change that folder into WAEP so like that you have uh, all the information available uh, in this uh, in this particular readme file you can follow that to get the uh, better understanding so now let me show you the default uh, default uh, pages available for WEP. So I am so here I am going to show the sample for uh, web authentic web pass through through with email. So that's a sample I am going to show you here. So let me just take this. Okay. So this is the section. I'm going to show you this is the model I'm going to show you here so let me uh, show you the first uh, the actual file you are going to get it from um, the zip folder so this is the uh, file uh, this is the HTML page you are going to get it in that particular folder and you have a, a user policy here then accept or reject the user uh, agreement then you can put email address then there, there is a picture and after that you have some uh, connection uh, contact details and that's a default page you are going to get it through that web both bundle and uh, user policy it's coming from this particular HTML file and uh, that file will be uh, displayed as a uh, item in this particular page so that's how they are uh, they they have the default settings so what we are um, going to do is we have to customize it so for that we have to get some HTML ed editor I already did some editing so let me um, show you that uh, HTML in HTML format. So, so this is the default uh, HTML file. You are going to get it with both bundle. Here um, you have uh, some minimum things. Uh, something like uh, uh, if you want to change the headline, you can update it here. Then if you want to change something on your logo, you have this name here your, your logo dot jpg so this jpg can be changed to your own uh, jpg and that will be displayed here that is one option you can with minimum uh, changes you can uh, do it basically you are not going to change other than the uh, variables in this if you want to do more uh, more customization on your page you can start editing in html format don't make any fancy stuffs basic HTML will work so I already did that some customization uh, so as you can see here I changed something in this uh, pages uh, in this page login page then I have uh, have some extra links added in here uh, in this page 
so this section adds uh, Facebook and Twitter and YouTube uh, sites then uh, logo I I change the picture for logo uh, this one I, I didn't change the picture but uh, you can change the picture by uh, changing the file in that folder then uh, I change something on this side so um, after the changing all those things you can save this file and uh, uh, let me uh, show you the uh, example uh, what is what is the updated one okay so uh, this is the updated file uh, and uh, as you can see here uh, this one is uh, having my name and uh, my Facebook and Twitter links and uh, this logo I didn't change I changed my uh, custom uh, number then uh, you can also do some customization like the uh, color background color if you want to change that to white or something you can change the color code you can get the color code from Google you can just uh, do a refresh and you can get that color code um, and once you are done with this uh, changes you can you can see that uh, in your folder that file is uh, edited then login.html I'm going to open with Firefox and you can see I change that color to white now so using that that particular um, number uh, or the value this particular FFFF this this particular value is referring to white color so you can see here my page is changed to white so if you want to put your custom color you can do that margins you can add you can you can do any kind of editing if you know HTML so that is um, that is some customization we can do so after doing this customization what you have to do is uh, you have to save the entire thing into an archive uh, like in, uh, into a zip file or a not zip file the uh, compress format so our WLC works in Unix uh, platform so it supports only the tar file so what we have to do is instead of uh, so uh, don't don't use uh, zip here so the entire folder after the editing just uh, do a archive then um, use uh, tar option here then you can give any name I'm going to give uh, login here then tar, tar format then save so once you are done with the saving you will get the tar file right uh, that tar file you can put it in your TFTP server then go to your controller go to commands then download file uh, you have an option to download the both bundle here so you can select web both bundle when you select web both bundle you will get only FTP SFTP and TFTP option HTTP is not available then you can select your um, you know, file name and click on download then this download will happen in background then you can see the progress here if you have HA enable it will first download the uh, bundle into your uh, uh, primary and it will extract it then um, after extracting it it will copy that files into uh, secondary controller standby uh, receive complete so uh, once we done with this you you will uh, you will finish it completely uh, your download is completed then this one is going to give uh, your custom login page so how to set that custom login page so go to security go to web both then web login page you have uh, multiple options here so internal you have it uh, that's a default login page and uh, you you will get the default login page like this so there is no issues uh, if you are using login page because it's nothing related to your customized one then if you want to change that to customize you can select the customized download uh, web both bundle then click apply then uh, if you click on preview so you can see here this one is not coming because this particular session I uh, taken it from uh, service port and this particular page will not get displayed in service port connectivity so uh, for that case uh, I have uh, direct connectivity on my uh, WLC so let me show you that so customize download uh, let me click on preview here then preview you can see Jason Matthew is coming here and this is my customized web both page so this is the way you can 
download your custom uh, authentication bundle, web authentication bundle from CCO, do the editing in HTML, upload it back to your uh, controller, then choose your web both type as a custom downloaded, then you will get that uh, web both bundle on your controller. Hope this one uh, will help you to customize your login pages and make it very beautiful and uh, give your customer logos, contact details and everything in your uh, production scenario. Thank you for watching.